Andy Perwall for ID Boxing. We are here in Jeddah and I'm joined by Adam Smith in the immediate aftermath of Alexander Usyk's split decision victory against Anthony Joshua. Adam, straight into it, what did you make of their fight? Well, it's a great fight. Really enjoyed it. And Alexander Usyk again proved why he is such an incredible fighter. Um, but AJ was so much better than he was at Tottenham and he played his part and it was a great performance from Joshua. Unfortunately, he was up against the uh, mercurial maverick, the, uh, the genius that is Usyk, uh, who physically and, and mentally is just so strong. And it's just a pleasure to watch, isn't he? The way he glides around the ring, he makes you miss, he makes you pay. Fantastic southpaw skills but but Joshua you know put in a tremendous effort a great shift he had his success he was competitive all the way through even if he wasn't picking off the rounds um, there was that moment in the ninth and he thought what if but Alexander Rusic came out in the tenth and just absolutely re-established himself and he was wonderful in the championship round so uh, Usyk a deserved winner don't understand Glenn Feldman's scorecard at two to Joshua I had a uh, Usyk a clear winner but um, it was uh, it was a, a victory for boxing tonight because both of them put everything into it you know AJ could be very very proud of the fact he's gone 24 rounds with pound for pound arguably the king or him and Canelo or Crawford I mean I don't know who you'd say is now pound for pound king but but Usyk it's hard to argue he's uh, he's cleaned up at cruiserweight and he's only got one more hurdle at heavyweight it's just a big hurdle against Tyson Fury so uh, yeah really really pleased that Anthony Joshua gave a great performance tonight he can be very proud of himself wasn't good enough um few are against Usyk. I think we've just got to love Usyk while he's here and a wonderful night in very, very difficult circumstances and a horrible year for the Ukraine. Um, just great that they've got in, in Alexander a beacon of light, a, a, a boxing uh, idol to look up to like Vasily and like Vladimir and Vitaly before them. So um, yeah, it was a great night for Alexander Usyk. It was a great effort from uh, Anthony Joshua and uh, ultimately it was a, a great night for boxing. What more would you have wanted to see from Anthony Joshua tonight if he was to have been successful? Look, I think you know the idea of, of punches in bunches and combinations and trying maybe just to, to push Usyk back into corners. But he, he did do that at times. It's just so difficult when you've got a guy as fleet-footed and moving so well and ultimately always on his toes. It's so difficult to connect well with and then you saw in the 10th and 11th when he started to go for it uh, AJ he got countered so many times and you know that's just the brilliance of Usyk and I just think Joshua did very well to, to see it out the 12 rounds um, and Alexander Usyk found that that, that shifting gear that he needed at uh, just a time where he looked in a spot of bother but um, that's what two champions are all about AJ gave a very emotional speech when he left the ring and yeah. came back I just want to get your thoughts on that I think that look I think he was you know, very, very emotional and passionate. I think he'd put absolutely everything into the training camp, everything into the 12 rounds. You know, he stole Alexander's uh, thunder and his glory and, and, it, and, it, and it was strange and it was difficult to listen to uh, as it came. But he said some really lovely things to Alexander and, um, you know, ultimately it shows how passionate AJ was and is about the competition and winning. I don't know why he threw the belts down at ringside. I don't get that. But, um, you know, Fraser Clark said in the studio that maybe he should have been saved during that speech by his team but ultimately you know it was passionate um, sort of the wrong timing it was Alexander Usyk's moment but um, he said some really lovely things about Usyk and I think he was just pointing out the fact that he's not a natural boxer and that Usyk is so um, so yeah a little bit of a difficult watch and uh, but I'm sure that he'll uh, you know he's he was passionate and emotional and, and maybe slightly dazed from the fight so ultimately um, you know he uh, he said some lovely things and, and that was good. Just one final one to end on, a controversial decision in the fight before with Gilles Zhang and Filip Hergovic, what did you make of that? Yeah, I mean, I think Gilles Zhang's uh, team were, were disgusted with it. Um, I thought it was a close fight, it was a strange fight. You know, there, there, there was a slipping on the canvas, Hergovic had his moments, he looked the classier guy in there, but then it looked like he was gone to sleep half the time, he was wandering around the ring, almost like Andrew Galotti used to, wasn't quite sure what was happening. You know, Gilles Zhang was more consistent through the fight, but he got tired in the, la in the later rounds and he allowed Hergovic to come back at him. I thought it was pretty close, I thought maybe Hergovic had the better quality and Zhang had um, you know, more of the, of, of the 12 round pace. It was a tough fight to score, could have been a draw. Yeah, I, I think it could have gone either way. I think 
unanimous to Hergovic was 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 wrong, and especially with a split decision for for uh, Alexander Usyk when I thought he won fairly clearly. So um, yeah, one or two eyebrows raised. I didn't think Badu Jack won either tonight, but um, there we go. Um, it's uh, it's one of those things, isn't it? It's all subjective. It's down to the judges. At least the right guy won the main fight. Alexander Usyk deserved to be uh, the world heavyweight champion, and uh, and AJ deserves to have a lot of respect from the way he went about it. Adam, I appreciate your time and safe travels back to the UK. Thanks very much, Andy.